The Business Report, brought to you with the compliments of Republic Bank. We're the one for you. The establishment of Ross University in Barbados continues to have positive spin-offs for the local economy. And one of the island's leading real estate firms, Terra Caribbean, says educational tourism is alive and well. Lisa Lord has the details. In the 2019 version of its Red Book, the chief executive officer of Terra Caribbean, Andrew Malalu, says they've played an integral role in ensuring Ross University's move to Barbados. He says Terra Caribbean was contacted by Atalum, the parent company of Ross, on the morning of May 24th last year, and given just a week to prepare a range of options for housing and warehouse space. Mr. Malalu says housing a thousand students in one location is not an easy task, but it has been done. 400 houses at the villages at Coverley are currently rented by students. A further 150 properties across the island are occupied by faculty and staff. The CEO says the impact of these rentals at the various properties has been felt immediately and will continue over the long term. He adds that 70% of the available rental stock on the island within the price and specification of Ross staff has been taken, and this has had an effect on the entire market. According to Mr. Malalu, this means a tenant looking for a similar property will be competing with a Ross member for the same space and may have to pay more. According to Terra Caribbean, from a purely real estate perspective, Ross has been able to lift rental rates and boost property values, something missing from the market over the last seven years. Lisa Lord for the Business Report. Thanks, Lisa. Some workers are still unable to file their taxes because employers have not uploaded their information to the BRA's tax system. The revelation from communications officer with the Barbados Revenue Authority, Erica Lazar, who has been speaking at the May 31st extended deadline, quickly approaches. Ms. Lazar says the BRA has had complaints from hundreds of people about the situation. She is urging employers and other third-party providers, such as charities and trade unions, to address the issue as soon as possible. Meanwhile, the BRA continues with its tax clinics. We have some more coming um, this Saturday, and then we're also going next Saturday. This Saturday and the next Saturday, they're both at the Whole Town branch and Treasury Building, VRA mm -hmm. okay. locations. Okay. And then we also have Rice's Community Center this Saturday. We have Spikes Town mm -hmm. Community Center, and we have Valley and St. George. So we're touching different You're places. You're really getting out there. From 9 to 3. Here's a look at how stocks traded locally and regionally today. In Jamaica, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 5,078,196 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad Cement Limited was the volume leader with 86,925 shares changing hands, all for a value of $242,052.40. And here in Barbados, Sagacore Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader, trading 12,000 shares at $2.49 each.